Right, so now we're going to add a subscription. We've created the product, which is the membership plan, the membership um, for that A Squad membership, and the two plans within it, and the coupon code. I'm now going to create a subscription. So I'm going to add a new subscription. So this is a new member. So it will automatically sync with my CRM. So it's going to look for anything I type. I'm going to put Paul Nicholson. Right, that's the one. Membership, two kids. I must be paying for somebody else because I haven't got two kids. And I'm going to apply. We're going to give this guy some help. This guy can't afford the, the full package or whatever it might be. We're going to give him the discount. Starts on this day. It's going to start today. Now, this it confuses me a little bit. This collect payment offline means you're going to um, you, you take cash or you pay, they would pay you direct. If you tick it, it shows you to take the payment online. So I kind of um, think this should say collect payment online. It's, it's the tag the wrong way around, I think. But I might not be getting my head around that. So uh, payments due on receipt um, and uh, the payment gateway, which is the only one that I've got enabled at the moment, is Stripe uh, and configure more payments if you want. Standard template, you can change templates, you can change the email it's about to send out. Um, uh, so it's going to be immediate charge of twenty eight pounds because there's a four, there's a thirty percent discount, and the recurring su subscription charge will be twenty eight pounds. So when I subscribe that, there's the invoice, there's the information. Sorry, here's the invoice history. So here's the the invoice has gone out, which is this one. Uh, twenty eight pound doesn't actually show the discount, does it? Oh yeah, discount thirty percent. It doesn't show. It doesn't show why the discount, which is probably a good thing. Um, so it's sent. I've got that information. Sorry, um, I've got the subscription information. I'm all signed up. Now, as me, as Paul Nicholson, my email. I've just got an invoice. Dear Paul, it was a pleasure doing business with you. You can pay for the invoice. The link below. Now you can edit that so it says, uh, "Thanks for." You know, uh, bringing your kids to our swimming club, uh, you can pay the membership below, right? And then you click on the invoice, and it opens up an online invoice, the same information that you can download or print out, and pay now. So now this this member, this this um, new member, or even old members, not real option not to pay, have they? If they're not paying now, then they're making their own excuses because you've said there's the payment, there's the subs, there's the secure link to put your credit card in. If you'd signed up for PayPal, there would be a PayPal button, um, and that would be it, right? So now that is in the system. I've got an invoice showing that person's been invoiced, right? Invoice number two. If I go back to Zoho Books. I have got an invoice in Zoho Books showing £28 here, here's the current, you know the status is sent, that person's been sent that invoice so I can open it in Zoho Books, due today, invoice created, you know, uh, and then I can go to the CRM, I can pull up Paul Nicholson, this account here is Paul Nicholson, and uh, I can click or hold on here, so I click, and it's going to tell me in this account, Paul Nicholson, total sales £28, outstanding receivable £28, so he owes £28. Go down to the bottom, and it's going to have um, here the invoice. There's the invoice again, so there's all different places you can see the invoice. You can see the status of it. You know, it says here there's £28 balance due. Uh, and just really cool, isn't it? Really cool walkthrough. Here's, here's the... Um, oh, no, the, there hasn't been a member. I think the email... Who does the email come from? All right, do reply to message service. So, yeah, you won't track... It won't track the email because it's not sent from you. Um... Unless it's, it may it may show it in here. I might be lying to you. No, it doesn't. Yeah, because it's the it's sent via a different email address. Uh, so yeah, you've got the receivable 
payment information. You've got it in the books. You've got the subscription. Uh, and now you're starting to fly. You've got people that can pay online. They can pay you direct and you can tag it as paid. Um, and, and now you've got that full chain of how to chase people up or how to make it easy for them to pay. So we're going to move into more funky stuff, more cool stuff in the next video. But hopefully that shows you from subscription to the accounts program to being able to pull up their contact information and see that all in one place. Cool.